There's no point making me wait. Detective C.P. Hunt. Hunt, eh? I bet the Academy was hard for you. I'd wipe that smile off your face if I was you. The name Shane Rowland may be legendary to some in this precinct, but to me, you're just a burnout who quit the force because he couldn't hack it. Now, let me be very, very clear, Mr. Rowland. You are the chief suspect in an ongoing investigation. Don't expect any kind of special treatment because you solved a few cases back in the day. Is that supposed to scare me, detective? Are you familiar with the sleeping killer? What am I saying? Of course you are. Jean Edwards. Ellen Guttenberg. Adam Rigby. Owen. When Shearer, Michaela Price. Brendan Everett, Stephen Eccleston. Gordon Rowland, Margaret Rowland, why the fuck are you telling me what I already know? All victims of the notorious serial killer, the sleeping killer. You investigated every single death, even your parents. Hell, yeah, that was a mistake. Victims included both men, women, young, old, but they all had the same MO. All found lying motionless on the ground, with a white outline around them, before police even showed up on the scene. That Eccleston kid was just three years old. Yeah, well, thanks for the fucking history lesson. You never even got close to finding the killer. I was so damn close. David! Because there's more. Peter Lawson. Harvey Pollock. Hollywood come. Are these names supposed to mean anything to me? You tell me. After all, you killed them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Three more victims, all with the exact same MO as the sleeping killer. And that's just the ones that we know about. You want to know what I think? I think it tore you up inside when no one believed your crackpot theories about abstract forces and higher powers. I think you decided that your only way back in was if the killer struck up again and we needed to come back to you for help. That's bullshit. That bastard killed both my parents. That's exactly why you couldn't just sit on the sidelines. You're obsessed with this case. <laughs> now look at you. <laughs> An empty shell of a man, a once great detective reduced to nothing. Admit it, Roland, you killed them all. You got a lot of nerve, Hunt. I wake up every morning in cold sweats thinking about what that bastard did to my parents. This whole goddamn planet's on a slow march to extinction and I'm the only one who sees it. You have any idea what that's like? Take the worst PTSD you could think of and multiply it by a fucking million. I gave my life to this case and what do I have to show for it? A head full of bad memories and a wife that wants nothing to do with me. And you want to pin this on me? I'm not going to be another rung on your ladder. Especially seeing as we both know that the real killer's still out there. Neither of us can do a damn thing about it. Not a goddamn thing. Damn it, Hunt. Who authorised you to question my client without me present? Yeah, just as I thought. Now, unless you're officially going to charge my client with something, we'll be leaving. Don't think you've heard the last of this hunt. Any day now. Can you fucking believe that guy? And what was with that room? He means well, he just doesn't give a shit about protocol. No, that was bullshit what happened in there. We're suing the precinct for everything they have. Just leave it, Alex. You're my least lucrative client. You know that, right?
shit. I gotta take this. Mitch, yeah. No, no, did you get it signed? No, no, no. You have to get the drug. No, I don't care. Got me. Ticking. The clock keeps ticking. <laughs> 